everyone, my name is Samantha, and I know it's been a minute since I only have one video up. It's an eyebrow routine, I know. I had to take six classes, and it was just, sis was stressed. So I'm back now, and I'm on break. So today I'm gonna be bringing to you a simple makeup look. It's a makeup look that I use to go to school, to go hang out with friends, like just to chill on a regular day. Super easy to follow, so if you guys like it, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And if you do try it out, also let me know down below and tell me if it was easy for you to do, if my routines are helpful, um, and if you wanna see any future content coming up soon, any specific makeup routines or anything in general, just let me know and I will take your suggestions into consideration in my following videos. I'm gonna try to upload a little bit more often now if I can. And I hope you like it. Let's get to the video. <laughs> and the moisturizer that I use is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream because in this cold weather, my skin is super dry. So I need a ton of this. I already put it on so I already have that on my face. Um, I know a lot of people use primer. I don't personally use primer, but um, if you do have a good, like a good primer that I could use that you suggest that you use, leave that down below. So the first thing that I normally start out with is my eyebrows. So process again, I'm just gonna tell you exactly what I use. So what I use now is completely different from what I used in the last video. I actually updated my eyebrow routine. It's pretty much the same the way that I do it, the way that I outline and everything. It's just a diff it's a different um, pencil that I use now. Before I used to use a pomade. Now I use the Brow Stylist Definer Ultra Fine Tip Shaping Pencil in the color Brunette. And this is from L'Oreal Paris, so I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to speed through this process because you guys already know what's up. So. This is the finished eyebrow look. So once I'm done with that, I like to highlight the top and the bottom of my eyebrows. So I use one of two products. I usually just alternate. So I either use the NYX Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour. This side. Or I use the Tarte Clear Creaseless Concealer in the shade Medium Honey. So today I'm going to actually be using the Tarte Concealer. This is from Sephora and it's the shader brush. I don't really use like the accurate brushes for everything. I just pick and choose what brush I want to use. Instead. Like off camera, I kind of realized that my eyebrows were a little bit messed up and uneven, so I fixed that up. Now onto the foundation. So I use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer in Warm Beige. Just this one. Let's be a makeup guru for a second. And I just like tap it everywhere. My skin isn't the best right now at all, but that's what this is for. I'm trying to put too much on my under eyes because I'm gonna put concealer afterwards, so. Okay, so the next thing that I do is my concealer. And I use the same side, I don't really change sides. Yeah, tap it. Sometimes I do it with my finger, sometimes I do it with the beauty blender. Today I'm doing it with the beauty blender. They always need to like look up when you're doing, when you're like putting on your concealer or putting on like the powder under your eyes because it's supposed to like help so that like it doesn't it covers up all the lines and wrinkles or whatever is on your eye. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I do it anyways. And then I use this side for my nose. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put powder on. This powder, it's the 
RCMA makeup, no color powder. So, oh, what's this one? And this one right here doesn't cause flashback either. Like, I know a lot of powders, like, afterwards, you like, after you put it on, it's supposed to, like, when people take a picture of you with flash, like, it, like, comes out, like, super white. Like, this one doesn't do that. So, that's what I like about this one. And I put it on my forehead because, like, I'm breaking out, like, a lot. And on my cheeks, too. Which I don't normally break out on my cheeks, but I put it there anyways. And I feel like it covers the breakouts out a little bit more. Helpful tip in case you didn't know. So I just leave that on for a little bit. And then... Oh, so I'm going to grab... I use this to contour. It's a BH Cosmetics brush. It came like in a whole set. So it came like with all these brushes in it. There's like a whole bunch of other ones, but I just use these main three. So for this one, I... This is like super broken as you can see like I use it a lot but this is the Hula bronzing powder and then I'll grab this brush it's a Sephora Pro Contour Highlight and I grab this brush I dip it in and then I put that along my nose But for all of you who don't know, I love Cardi. Never been to a concert, but the day that I go, I'm putting that up. So I grab some of the same powder and I put it on my eyes. I don't really do like a whole like eyeshadow thing. Like I literally just like swipe it over my eye, give it some color, so it doesn't stay like white. So the next thing I'm gonna do is eyelashes. So. So, okay. So, the mascara that I use. Okay, y'all see this too, right? Yeah, that's how you know I use it a lot. Um, It's from Maybelline. So, the way that I do my eyelashes, because my eyelashes are like really, really short, is I brush them like this way first. And you're gonna push it the other way. Then you bring it up. Like my lashes are super like there's people who have lashes that are like my lashes are very but that's how I did one side and like, it's super easy. So I'm gonna do the eye, other um, eye real quick. But this is my e.l.f. highlighter. It's, it doesn't really say the name on it, but oh, here we go. It's the e.l.f. mermaid tail highlighter. So it's like holographic, so it's like those two colors. And then I'm gonna grab, I don't have a specific highlighter brush, like I don't have specific brushes for anything, but I just use this brush and I kind of like hold it a certain way so it doesn't like grab too much product. And I grab like the pinkish one. Sometimes I mix the two, but for now I'm just gonna grab the pinkish one. And then I tap a little bit of it off and I put it up here. Usually this makeup routine takes about like 10 minutes, maybe less, depending on how quick I decide to go, but it's never like too long. And then at the end, I don't really put on any lipstick or anything to go to school, I just go out. So I just grab regular like Glistex and I just put that on my lips because 
gotta be moisturized. And like, if you can't like afford lip gloss or stuff like that, like this serves as just like the same purpose. Like it looks just like lip glosses on your lips. And then lastly, the last thing that I do is I grab my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray and then I just spray it all over. I spray on a lot, but because like it leaves your face looking a little bit dewy and that's how I like it. Like I don't like my face too matte. Although I put on powder, like this right here ends up making it look like super dewy and on top of that, the highlighter like even better. Usually what I do, which I forgot to do actually, is I'll grab some of the Fix Plus setting spray and I'll put it on the highlighter brush and then I'll put on the highlighter like that. And it makes the highlighter stay much longer and it makes it look much more vibrant. But I can actually do that right now. But yeah, that is the end of my makeup routine. I really hope you liked it. If you're going to try out this look, let me know down below. If there was any products that you think I could be using or some products that are probably better than the ones that I'm using, let me know. But yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe down below, leave me a comment and a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.